we're gonna be talking about E3. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about E3 and fucking hell, I'm so fucking late for this video. Anyway, it's something I think uh, you should consider as a Sensor fan. Now me, I'm a very big Sensor fan, been there since 2010. Yeah, that's when I first played Sensor 2. 10, I've played Sensor the 3rd and jumped back to Sensor 1 and... Fuck. Sensor 1 and 2 are the best. Don't argue with me on that. <laughs> anyway, so after that Sensor 4 came and 10, get out of hell and please. Stop saying that Get Out of Hell, it's a new Sensor game, it's like Sensor 5, it's not, it's a standalone expansion, it's it's a different story, okay? So yeah, after those games, Volition, the creators of the Sensor series, announced Engines of Mayhem, and at first I wasn't so hyped, then they got me with the trailers and the new stuff, and the implication of that game in the Sensor universe. So yeah, it takes place in the same universe, and you can see, as they've shown it on the E3, there is a very interesting throwback to the Stillwater stories and to the Stillwater storyline without the player, without the boss. So, pretty much in of Agents of Mayhem, it's like Saints Row with the boss will be there? Something like that, but set furthermore in the future. Now, as we all know, or at least as some of us know, Agents of Mayhem is like a continuation to Saints Row Get Out of Hell after we choosing the uh, recreation ending where this happens. Johnny knew that he couldn't choose his own happiness at the expense of humanity, and so he asked God to reshape the world, hoping that maybe, just maybe, in this new life he could find his friends again. It's really her. I can't believe we've bagged Brimstone. It doesn't make sense. She's evaded capture for years. Why would she drop the ball now? I don't know. When the lieutenant gets to interrogation, Brimstone's gonna talk. The end. So yeah, it takes place in the Saints Row universe, but it's not Saints Row 5, and you shouldn't call it Saints Row 5. Just let me explain you why you shouldn't call this a Saints Row game. So as I said before, it takes place in the Saints Row universe, but it's just different, it's like a what if, what if the earth was recreated, the boss would not exist, blah blah blah, it's, it's pretty stupid if you think about it, but you know what, that's volition, that's what they wanted, they wanted to set a game in the future and get some new fans along with it, and maybe help the Saints Row community by dividing the Saints Row 1 and 2 old school players from Saints Row the 3rd and Saints Row the 4th players, I don't know, that's just my conception about this. Anyway, so, is this Saints Row 5? No, don't call it Saints Row 5. It's Agents of Mayhem, a new IP, a new upcoming open world action adventure video game set in the Saints Row universe. Yeah, it's that easy, it's not Saints Row 5, so, even though Pierce makes a comeback and Yael makes a comeback as a pre order bonus, yeah. That's just Volition's way of making the old fans buy their new product, their new IP. And even though it takes place in the same universe, goddamn, I'm repeating myself a lot. Yeah, even though it takes place in the same universe, it doesn't have to be Saints Row and it's not gonna be called the Saints Row. So what I do believe that Volition is gonna do after finishing Agents of Mayhem, it's jumping back on Saints Row by making a Saints Row 5. And now that they've got this game, Agents of Mayhem, done, there's not gonna be so much arguing between the community of Saints Row, so if you want new pew pew uh, superpowers, funky weird shit, you're gonna go and buy Agents of Mayhem, and if you want to be a psychotic gangster, drug dealer, maniac, weird gangster motherfucker, yeah, that pretty much suits up the game. Uh, you're gonna want to buy their next big project after Agents of Mayhem called Saints Row 5, I hope. So yeah. <laughs> Remember, Agents of Mayhem, it's not Saints Row. And it's never gonna be. To some extent. Wait, what? 
motherfucker, uh. Romanian motherfucker Latino, Romanian motherfucker Latino, fresh as a motherfucking G ho, fresh dope boy with a kilo, eyes bleed in my smoke, yo, I'm kick pussy like dojo, low key and no low low, but bring it down like rain, yo. Let that go deep now, slow it, slow it.